Today I'm going to explain condensation, whether or not you might have condensation and how to prevent it. So condensation occurs when moisture held within the air cools and forms into larger droplets and obviously gets heavy and condenses onto cold surfaces. It's winter time and you go to your car, get in your car and try to start it and it doesn't start. So while you're trying to sort out the car and start the car and keep turning it over, you're breathing out and all of a sudden the windows are all steamed up and, and running with water. This is condensation occurring. So when you're breathing out, the moisture cools on the cold windows. Now, if you were to get your car started, the engine starts to warm, you put on the heater, and that soon starts to evaporate that moisture held on the windows, and the windows start to clear. But if you open your windows slightly as well, those two things working together will dry out the windows a lot quicker. You've got the air exchange and you've got the heat. If you turned off the heater, say you went, started driving, um, down your windows up, turned off the heater. After a period of time, because it's still cold outside, your windows will start to fog up again. So you have to turn the heater on. This is the best way that I can explain condensation and how it occurs and how utilising ventilation and heat at a consistent temperature will prevent condensation from occurring. So many homeowners are trying to save money, which I understand, and uh, I think we all are, and trying to become energy efficient. Um, but in the winter months, people often think that uh, having their heating on during the day and turning it off at night is fine, um, and that they're saving money by doing so. But in actual fact, you are creating condensation problems because outside temperature drops considerably and so will the internal temperature inside your property if you do that. So you're heating during the day, that moisture is evaporated into the air, it's all contained within the air, then you turn the heating off, temperature drops and that moisture will condense onto cold surfaces so you'll wake up and have damp walls. The same applies um, to, to many people that think that by opening the windows during the day they're getting that air exchange and they won't have condensation but they shut them at night, um, turn the heating off and uh, wake up to condensation. So you need ventilation combined with the air as explained previously to control condensation. Keep your heating on at night and all day. You might think this is going to cost the earth, but in fact, it's going to not put your bill up by very much at all. In fact, uh, by keeping heating on at a consistent level, the boiler will just be kicking in and kicking out and doing very little work. Whereas if you were to turn it off at night and then say in the morning, want it to go to 21 degrees, it's going to work from five degrees to 21 on full power. Um, and then have to maintain that temperature. So it's definitely better just to keep it at a constant temperature. And that means that all the room surfaces will be um, all the same. It's also important to ventilate by opening windows. You don't particularly want to open your windows on full because that will just bring in too much air. But what you can do is put the windows on a night lock modern double glazed windows um, you can open up them out an inch 
and lock the latch down and it's nice and secure. Other windows might have triple vents. These are vents at the top of the windows that you can open and close to um, allow for ventilation. They're not as good because they're only small holes, um, but nonetheless, it's still ventilation. Failing that, if you haven't got any of those windows, you can install a, a vent through the wall, the top of a, a wall. This will allow for airflow and you can do that. Um, but you might need a contractor to install that. If you're gonna do it yourself, you can buy these vents from either Amazon, right and building products or Permaguard. I'm sure there's other companies, but uh, those three are good. Um, so thanks for watching guys. Um, hopefully I've explained condensation enough for you to understand and implement things. If you are looking to uh, have these vents put in the walls, um, I'll put a link in the description box so you've got that to hand. Uh, if you have any questions that you'd like to ask or pictures or anything like that, that um, you were just, or you're still not sure, please leave a comment and uh, I'll reply to you and try and help you out in that way. Uh, please subscribe to our channel, uh, it helps, helps a lot and I'll try and do some more videos, some explainer videos and things like that. If you have any questions please comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.